Hey guys, it's Keith Mitchell. Today I'm going to teach you how to send it. Keith Mitchell. Great time. He is going to give this a ride. Lower body seems very quiet, smooth. The first thing is having a good, wide, stable base. Because what that does is it helps you be able to spin around it without losing your balance. It's like you're doing any other sport. If you're shooting basketball or playing baseball waiting for it, you get that really athletic wide stance so that when you're turning, you have a really solid base and good balance. For me personally, I'm able to gain more distance by spinning my shoulders as fast as I can and letting the club drag. So from the top, it's just one giant turn all the way through the ball, which generates a fade and, in my opinion, more power. So in order to get the feeling of your shoulders and your body turning first and not the club, get a swing instructor, a swing friend, or I have handyman, crunch man Pete over here to help, and I'll explain that once you get to the top, He'll grab the center of the club and he'll grab it really tight. And there's only one, and you gotta use all your power to get it to the ball. And he's gonna hold it tight, and you'll see I'm gonna use my body, because if I try to use my hands, it's not gonna go anywhere. But if I grab it here, it's gonna drop in that lagged position. So when that happens, you're stable and you're set. So from here, it's simply just rotating, spinning, and it's almost like jumping through the ball. Because from here, you want to just turn and you'll come through and we'll hit our fade that way. Because once you get in this loaded position, it's really all body and just jumping through, through the shot. So in summary, the first thing is get a really athletic, wide, stable base. The second is feeling like that club's stuck or it's real heavy at the top of your swing. And then the third is spinning your torso, your shoulders, as fast as you can through the ball. And that's how you send it.